So today we want to continue in the mood of last Tuesday, Narottam Das Thakur's song and also his meditations. Actually, I just became aware of it. It's not his meditations. It's his Nitya Leela experiences. Right? He's experiencing it. And by experiencing, it becomes also close to us. Vrindavan dui jana chatur di ke saki gana samaya buji buddha sasuke This divine couple resides in Vrindavan surrounded by their girlfriends. I will blissfully serve them according to the time of the year or the day. So just by hearing this, this will be also coming to my heart. My heart which is not so especially uh, qualified for being fixed in the Nitya Lila. But by listening the experiences of the Nitya Lila of Naratam Dastakur, it becomes touched. Some drops of mercy are there already. Why otherwise would we like to listen this? It's not possible. So that's why we love the songs of Naratam Dastakur and we love the all the meanings of the songs and we love to hear about that. We love to hear about the Nitya Lila experiences. Means that are experiences where they see the other realm. They see Radha and Mohan. Vrindavane Dui Jana. They see the the Dui Jana, these two people. <laughs> these transcendental shining blue and golden uh, wonderful divine couple surrounded by their girlfriends. I want to sing this again. It is more beautiful when it is in the singing voice. Vrindavana Chaturdi ke sake gana Sorry, 
I have a new harmonium. My old one broke a little bit. <laughs> now I have to find the tunes again. But anyway, this is just the feeling of that. Vrindavan and Dui Jani. This divine couple resides in Vrindavan, surrounded by their girlfriends. I will blissfully serve them according to the time of the year or the day. When will the Sakis give me a hint to fan them with a yucktail fan or to place beetle leaves in their moon-like mouth? Moon-like mouth is what is it, does it mean? The moon so big and so open? No, it is shiny. The moon is always shiny and full of effulgence. And they have shining mouths. Everything of their their bodies is shining. And this is called this uh, uh, explanation: service in rasa sukha means in this feeling of rasa or taste of of a relish of divine relish. Sudha kanika bhakya. In this tripadi, Shila Thakur Mahashai gives an indication of Anuraga Moi Seva meditation of the Raga Sadakas who are in Manjari Pa. So he gives an indication. How is the feeling of someone who wants to feel the feelings of a servant of the divine couple of all their leelas and all their feelings? In the previous verse, an indication was given of the Siddhasvarup of the Sadaka. How we can do it only in the spiritual body, in the spiritual consciousness of our small, sweet, dining bodies. Actually, I have no realization of this, but I have a lot of desires. I want to cultivate my desires. I want to cultivate my feelings for that. Mm -hmm. So the only way how to do it is to hear from those who have already realizations, who have the feelings and who live in these feelings. So when we hear this and we read it, it's for our own purification. It's for our own um, becoming ready, so to say. Like when the children, they are small, they don't know how to talk and how to walk. But for a few years, they are just watching the bigger ones, the parents, the sisters and brothers, how to do it. So in a few years, they will be able to do it. That is only a small example. In the spiritual world also, we are listening. We are having the mercy of our gurus, of our teacher and our spiritual guides. And then in a few, you know, who knows how long it will be also possible that I can experience something. And that is possible by clinging, staying close, being like the monkey baby, catching, and sometimes also being like the lion's baby, being caught. We have these two possibilities. We have to hold on, we want to hear, we want to listen, we want to do service, but also sometimes we need to be carried. It's two possibilities always. And now comes the subject, how the sadaka is rendering manasi seva. Manasi seva, what is manasi seva? It is the service that we do internally in ourselves. In our meditation, in our chanting, in our singing, in our cleaning, in our cooking. Actually, Manasi Seva is not limited to any kind of one service. Manasi Seva can be during the day, and Gurudev always calls it Bhajana Kriya. It is this stage where everything what we do, we try to connect it with the feeling of being a dasi, a servant of the all servants of Srimati Radhika. And that's why when dasis are together, it is so blissful because all just want to serve. 
So if everyone likes to surf, then it is very easy, right? <laughs> because we all want to surf only. But if everyone is running away and doing only what they like, that is no service. But in the spiritual world, in the Manasi Seva, they are all eager to do the service. They are eager. They are very, very eager. Within the matchlessly beautiful environment of Sri Vrindavan, the kingdom of Rasa, the Sadaka meditates on the divine pair. That is Sri Krishna, who is the Shingara Rasaraj Muti, the king of transcendental erotic mellows, and Sri Radharani, who is the embodiment of Mahabhav, and who is endowed with matchless beauty, attributes, and passionate love. So now, Anantadas Babaji is making a beautiful picture of Rendava. Our Narutam Dastako Mahashoy, he also did that. He said the divine couple is in Vrindavan and is surrounded by the girlfriends. And in his spiritual identity, he's always looking this. So we also want to follow the spiritual identity. So first of all, we watch ourselves in the day where is my mind, where is my senses. And that is also already some service to become aware of where I am now. Where am I hiding my potential? Or where am I growing my potential? Radhi Gurudev! <laughs> so that is our daily homework. And we have to, that nobody can do for us, right? Wow, it's so nice, Gurudev. You're so close. I feel so happy. <laughs> So the homework we have to do, every one of us, it's our own uh, individual homework. How am I closer? How am I cultivating my inner feelings? And how can I uh, continue to increase it? And who will help me to increase it? For sure, this is uh, the secret in my spiritual life, to always be together with someone who can increase it and also myself to become more eager to increase it. And that's why I like to read this Prema Bhakti Chandrika because I feel this is Gurudev's gift for me to come closer to the mercy of Naratam Dastakur, listening his songs, meditating his Nitya Lila realizations. Because we are taking now the remnants, the prashad of Srila Naratam Dastakur's experiences in his visions his feelings it's not mine but i wish to connect i wish to hear this i wish to relish this this is mine the desire and the um, you know to open the book to take the book in my hands to take my mala and to listen and to um how do you say that become curious and more eager for that. So now comes the beautiful explanation, or let's say the opening of Rindavan, of those who have already experienced of Rindavan. And that is very powerful. Within the matchlessly beautiful environment of Sri Vrindavan, the kingdom of Rasa, the sadaka meditates on the divine pair, and that is Sri Krishna, who is the Shringaraj, uh, Shringara Rasa Rajmuti. He is the embodiment of all the flavors of love, hmm? the muti of beautiful flavors of love. And Srimati Radhika, she is the embodiment of Mahabhav. She is full of matchless beauty, attributes, and passionate love. So, Srimati Radhika is so beautiful. She is the most beautiful. And Sri Krishna is the one who can relish that. He is the one that gets to taste her Mahabhav. 
And that's why she is there for him. She is the embodiment of that pure love that wants to make him feel what she has for him. And what is there to uh, increase? What is there to enjoy? In this regard, this enjoyment is the spiritual enjoyment with the spiritual senses. It's a divine enjoyment. It's not for egoistical, selfish reasons that Srimati Radhika and Radha Mohan are enjoying. They are giving their enjoyment to the whole world also. And that is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he came to give. And that we are now able to also feel and touch a little bit or desire to connect, and to desire to make a relation to their divine relation to serve them. The Yuga Lucky Shore is surrounded by the Sakis, who are the reflections of Sri Radharani. See, this is also so interesting. Even these girlfriends, they are no, not uh, separated from Srimati Radhika. They are her reflections. They are reflections of her beauty, of her expertise, of her everything that she wants to give to Mohan is reflected in her girlfriends and in all the different, different services they do. And they are also swimming in the high waves of the ocean of Rasa and Prema, of Sri Radha Mohan, which is full of laughter, joking, beauty, love and passion. In his Pratana Gitika, Shila Tako Mahashoi has drawn a beautiful, a wonderful bhava picture of this. So this is also another amazing word, bhava pictures. These songs and these uh, sharings, we could say, are pictures of emotions. And these emotions, they have been felt by those who have a vision. They have a glimpse of Nitya Lila, of the eternal spiritual world. And they are drawing these pictures in the form of their songs. In our hearts, we can also feel that according to our hearts, containers, what is possible. And so here is another beautiful Baba picture, a picture full of emotion. Vrindavana Rangyastam Devya Chintamani Da Ratana Mandira Manohara. The lovely place named Vrindavan is an abode made of divine thought gems. So that's very interesting also. The, the divine thought gems. This is Chintamani. Chintamani. The jewels of the chinta, of our consciousness that is completely now absorbed in that sevaras, this desire to serve, to give pleasure. The lovely place named Vrindavan is an abode made of divine thought gems. Again, let's hear it. Vrindavana Rangyastan Devya Chintamani Da Ratana Mandira Manaha There is a charming jewel temple. Try to feel it also. When we are hearing it, we can also close our eyes and try to feel it and come close to this Chintamani, that divine thought gem. There is a charming jewel temple. It's a temple made of jewels, made of moonstones or amethyst or 
beautiful rubies and crystal. And around that beautiful jewel temple is the Yamuna. The Yamuna is, is flowing around that temple. And her rivulets, the different, different, you know, small, small waves of her. The waves, actually, these are her goose, uh, how do you say, goosebumps. Now she is the river that is always close to the divine couple. And there are lordly swans playing amongst the beautiful golden lotus Lordly swans, you know, Paramahansa. That is the name of a lordly swan. It is the souls who have that service to describe the beauty of the divine couple's leelas. So when we hear about it and we speak about it, it is already a very lucky day, a lucky, lucky time in our lifetime. We like to hear it or to share on it. So in the middle of the Druid temple, there is a golden platform surrounded by eight petals where the le leading heroines, the Ashtasakis, reside. Actually, this is a yoga pit meditation. This is a meditation where they are all together under Yamuna in the Druid temple and Nara Tontas Tako is experiencing it. He's sharing this with us. He's seeing it. In the middle of that is a jeweled throne on which two persons are sitting. Shyam and his beautiful Radik. So this is the lotus the lotus, uh, lotus gem, the lotus jewel place where they meet. And that is like a petal, uh, like a lotus flower. No, Yesterday we also had this, or oh, it was on Sunday, the beautiful lotus flower. With so many petals. And in the middle is a jewel throne on which Mohan and Radhika are sitting. An abundance of nectarian elegance drips from their transcendental forms. They are so elegant that it drips from their, you know, their, their forms are almost like getting liquefied <laughs> because there's so much ecstasy and so much love in them. It drips. It's like a moving ecstasy. How can these forms exist how can this ecstasy become you know manifest in front of naratandas taco's eyes it's nectarian elegance that drips you can know you can it's nectar is anyway liquid and elegance is always shining elegance we say someone is elegance when their form is shining so that is a nectarian shining form, each of them in their transcendental appearance. And it drips, it is dripping. It's like, it's almost not solid because the, everything about them is transcendental love. And that love is not always easy to describe. But these words are very special. You hear that? An abundance of nectarian elegance drips from their transcendental forms. That's why the poetry, poetry is so important in, in our sadhana also, in our lives. And these songs, they are the poetry of the heart of Narottam Dastaku. And we are so lucky that we can hear them, that somebody translates them. And that someone like Gurudev is explaining that to us and giving us the chance to, to develop some taste for this beautiful, beautiful poetry. 
So they are full of nectarian elegance and their transcendental forms are so, so, so attractive. And what are they doing? They are engaged in laughing and joking with each other. It's not that like in Vaikuntha, they are sitting there like ready to receive all the prayers from all the sakis. <laughs> Because in Vaikuntha, the, you know, in these uh, other realms, there is a lot of uh, prayers and always reverence and awe. And, uh, but what are they doing? Radha Mahana joking and laughing. That is the, the realm of, of play and of eternal happiness. And Naratam Das Tako, who say, who is feeling it, he says, May these eternal pastimes always remain manifest within my mind. <clears throat> so he's so humble. He is seeing it. He has access to it. He has been blessed with the uh, prema of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu of Nitai. But he says, Oh, may they always be there. Let them never leave me. I always want to live in this, in this. Uh, What's it called? Rasa Sukha. In that taste of that beautiful, beautiful seva. And now comes another song of Naratam. He also, again, he is making this mental divine pictures through his songs. Kadamba taruru dala, mami ache bume bala, puti ache fula sari sari. So many rows or rows of flowers blossom on the branches of the kadamba tree that they are bowing down to the ground. All of Rindavan is permeated with their fragrance and this causes the male and female bees to play around. So another beautiful uh, picture is being drawn here that the trees and the, you know, all these inhabitants, the flowers, everything there in Vrindavan, they have only one desire, they want to bow down with all their fruits, with all their flowers. They are very full and rich. They are blooming. Why are they blooming? Because they see the divine couple. Maybe they have been touched also by them. And they are bowing down because they're, they're um, you know, also nowadays when you have a garden, it's a rainy time right now. We have a little bit of a rainy time. And they are these big, big, big flowers. They have big white heads and they are bowing down now. They cannot be standing straight. They want to bow down. They, they are so big and so fluffy and so uh, ready to serve. And so also in Vrindavan, the trees, they all bow down full of, full of fruits and flowers ready to, to serve. That is the humility of the spiritual beings in Rindavan. And all of Rindavan is permeated with their fragrance. That is, uh, you know, the fragrance of Sevaras. It's not only a beautiful smell that is very attractive. It's like when we are together with one sadhu who has a lot of experiences in their bhajan, that personality has a special flavor, right? They smell, you know, they cannot avoid that beautiful smell of their beautiful personality. And that is the kind of association that we are eager for. Any sadhu that likes to bow down because of the heavy you know, ecstasy of all the fruits and all the beautiful flowers that have been growing out of their hearts. And now they are carrying all the fruits and the flowers. 
in their being and they are ready to distribute it. All of Vrindavan is permeated with their fragrance. And this causes the male and female bees to play around. So also Radha and Mohan, they are inspired by this beautiful uh, Vrindavan smells and fragrances and all of the desires of their you know, friends to play and to serve their play. It's not only that everyone is focused on Radha Mohan. No, Ma Radha Mohan is also inspired by the beauty of their servants. We know, we have listened that many of times that in our uh, mantras, the, the Kama Gayatri is a 24 and a half syllable. So this half syllable is the servant, is the Dasi. And she is always eager to serve Radha Mohan and makes the Leela, you know, continue in one way or the other way according to their halfness. <laughs> they are always making small, small contributions, but these contributions, they make the divine couple shift in their different leelas. <clears throat> sometimes they are in one, sometimes they are in love, and sometimes they are separated. All these different, different uh, situations are all for the pleasure of the divine couple, for the pleasure that the servants want to give or the trees, or the flowers, or the animals, they are only there to serve their lila. Raikanu vilasaya range kibaru pallavani Rai and Kanu are enjoying their playful sports. How beautiful are their forms? How clever are they? And how brightly their ornaments are shimmering. Vaida gadi kani dani mani moi abarane anga. It's this lavanya and this this mani moi. This is actually a hint also that all this beauty can be experienced in the mind of someone who is fully realized and is fully connected to this transcendental realm, and they can share it with us. And also by hearing this, we become more purified and more eager and also more happy. Radha Radha Kshina Koro Dari Priya Giri Dhara Madhura Madhura Kali Jai Dear Giridari walks along ever so sweetly, holding Radha's right hand. Behind and in front of them, the Sakis shower flowers, and some Sakis fan them with a yak tail fan. So that is all very, very rustic. It's all the special feelings that are coming. Because why is it, why not a Tom Dastaka saying Giridhari? You know, Giridhari is when Krishna is uplifting Govardhan Hill. So in this case, when he's saying Giridhari also, he's seeing how Krishna is making Radharani happy by uplifting her. But here it says holding Radha's right hand. So, as Gurudev teaches us also, there's always some meaning between the lines, some Rasika meaning. And that we have to also feel by remembering what we have heard and what we have listened. And then the feelings will come. Oh, why is Baba saying, oh, Mara, Nara Tomdastaku, why is saying, Giri Dari? Dari Priya Giri Dara is holding. He's holding the mountains of her love. He is overwhelmed by the golden mountains of her love. 
and the stuckies they shower flowers, and some are fanning them with a yucktail fan. That is a very beautiful atmosphere, full of scents and smells and uh, beauty. Rai and Kanu hold hands and dance around on a jeweled stage with this great by pollen and cooled by the moon. Rai Kanu Kara Jodi Nritya Kore Fidi Pidi Parashe Pula Ketanuba. They're holding hands, you know, and you're dancing and around and around. You have to hold hands like this, no? You have to hold hands like this. When the children are playing, they are also dancing like this. And so Rai and Kanu are also dancing around. And wow, they are on a jeweled stage. Maybe it's the, uh, you know, in which color it is. Okay, and now try to... To feel it. It is great by pollen. These are the pollen that the flowers are actually showering on them. And cooled by the moon. The moon is shining. It is actually now a uh, full moon. It's Purnamasi. The hands are standing on end of ecstasy. And they touch each other. They are so happy touching each other. And who is seeing it? Narottam Das Thakur. So what is now the service that is needed? That is our question because we are the servants. We are the Dasis. We try to remember what is our service now. Mriga Mada Chandan Kori 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 Sakigan Vari Shaya Fulagandaraje the sakis keep musk and sandal paste in their hands and throw fragrant flowers. Shama jala bindu bindu, shobha kori mukka indu, adare murali nahe baje. The sakis keep, yes, musk and sandal paste, and Radha and Mohan's moon like faces are purified. By sweat drops, and Krishna cannot play his flute anymore. So the, the, the sakis are always ready to serve now. They have the beautiful plates by the side with the pastes for cooling and for uh, making fragrant. Why cannot Krishna play his flute anymore? He's so excited. He's completely overwhelmed by Shimati Radhika's Mahabhav. The flute is, you know, somewhere, not there anymore. When he is playing the flute, he's calling, but now he cannot call anymore because he's overwhelmed by beautiful emotions. Narottam, now Narottam is again explaining what he is what he is uh, experiencing. Asya vila sarasa, sarasa madura pasa, narotama manuratabha. Narotama's manurata. That is where his mind is now, you know, engaged. Narotama's desires are fixed on the mellows of their joking pastimes and their sweet and juicy talks. With their wonderful dresses and their flower-decorated hairs, they perform pastimes that enchant the eyes. Wow. Is it beautiful, Gurudev? <laughs> Yes, now we can hear you, Gurudev. All Govardhan pastimes. Govardhan. In the Govardhan, mm -hmm. you see there is a, a what is Govardhan? Girdhari, where is the Girdhari? 
Yes, Giddy Daddy walks along ever so sweetly, holding Radha's right hand. No, sweetly, the Bangla. Ah. Radha Radakshina Koro Dari Priya Radha. Radha. Is Radha is the primary? Ah. Yeah. Radha is the main. Like a if you bind to the cow or bind to the boat in the some some place some some base is there where you bind the boat yes some so stick krishna, or something yes yeah so krishna is bound moving is bind with radha without radha he cannot bind him <laughs> <laughs> You see, first is Radha. Read, read, read. Radha Radakshina Koro Dari Priya Parikrama. They are on Parikrama, good. On each other. Oh, they are. <laughs> She's <is> binding him. Binding <laughs> to him. No, no other place. We do that. <laughs> Are yeah. Bhagavad Dev, you give me some new pictures. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yes, so it's not, yeah, the Giri Dari is bound by Radhika like a boat by the yeah. boatsman. <laughs> he can go, but there is a, some area he can move because of the rope. How much he lose, he goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> But he is uh, near to him, putting the circle. Ah, that is our Swamini. She can bind him the best. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is beautiful. Madura, Madura, Choli, Yai. Yeah. So, but that trend, the translation is really something very, very uh, far away, Guru. Because here translation says, "Giddy Daddy walks along ever so sweetly, holding Radha's right near hand." To, near to him. <laughs> yes, she is holding. <laughs> yes. Wow! Thank you, Guru. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. And now it says that the description of those who have directly experienced the sweetness of the pastimes of the Yuga Lakishore and their Sakis with their Baba eyes in the Leela kingdom of Sri Vrindavan are the very life sustenance of the meditations of the Sadaka. Wow. Your feeling eyes, divine, Sarup. Sarup. What is a Thai bhav? A Thai bhav is only Radha. Because she is the base. Have right. <laughs> base. She is the stick, Gurde, where the boat is bound. <laughs> where Mohan is bound. Can go in water some place. What is the limitation of the boat? He cannot go far than that because he's a binded here. In the one, what you say that base. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Boya, boya. German say boya. Boya, acha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is one uh, space that one can go, but this space is limited. Like you said, Lord, if the line is a, has a certain <laughs> allowance. But how much the area he has the limitations of that area. He cannot go out from that circle. <laughs> and this circle, he can roll it. No. <laughs> Can sometime come near, sometime little far, but he has a limitation. That is the bound, the rope of love, Gurudev, of our Swamini. Oh, yeah. 
the boss she is the boss go to him <laughs> wow so nice happening then sakis are doing the rt and everything that my dear you are you are have a limitation to go far so we are doing rt to see this feelings how close you are you try to go but you cannot go you have a limit to go you cannot cross that limit yeah so nice that is the the mercy of of those who have who can feel it and with the baba eyes in the leela kingdom of shri vrindavan the samajika sadakas the sensitive devotees can experience how nicely a picture of the sweet pastimes of the yugala with their sakis in vrindavan has been drawn in the above mentioned pada wow so sensitive devotees who can hear it and who can feel it they have a uh, you know experience because of this right gurudev because you come yeah. up with old then come a new pictures all the time mm -hmm. it's a picture that has been drawn and our labanga latika is also drawing already she is inspired she is drawing i can see it <laughs> you see that she is a is is a what you say in german a painter oh a uh, artist boya she is boya ah she is the the this boya <laughs> is centralized to make the painting of leela because uh -huh. she go mind not going out of that oh yes. i love like lavangalatika she cannot think out of that she has a can daughter to daughter as when sweet as men big house everything but she her mind is going only one thing she on man making painting on and on this is her condition <laughs> boy <yeah. laughs> she cannot help yeah oh my mercy that all your kripa thank you you save me <laughs> <laughs> you see the beauty of her mind ah oh, there is the boat <laughs> mind is like, you know, the in the shrimad bhagavat is mentioned and and gita that mana is a krishna mind is like a krishna he is very chanchala krishna is also chanchala so mind is fixed boy is fixed krishna is fixed in the boy <laughs> so we have to fix our mind not go many far because he is is like a boat he can go if you leave the cut that he will go in the river and you cannot catch <laughs> only because of the boat he cannot go far so my lavang latika is fixed Our service might not go out from the lila chinta. This mm. is it, our meditation. Wow! This is rare to fix our mind with the boya. One place that is boya is our Swami Radhika. Beautiful good. Ah. 
<sighs> the Raganubiya Sadakas can understand when their time has come to render yeah, blues. They will understand. Who has the love, they understand. What is this Buya? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the love can bind even to the Krishna. Mm. Right? To the mind, everything. If the mind gets the intelligence to understand what yeah. is the book, yeah. it is bind. Why I am bind in this circumstance? Mm. We always try to fix our mind, to bind the mind, Gurudev, where Shimati Radhika is uh, the boss and helping us to fix. What is the rope? I love it. Love is the rope. <laughs> <laughs> that is not look outside, only the Raga Nuga Anubia. Yeah. Understand. And who is putting yes. the knot there? Huh? Who is making the knot with the rope? Our Guru. Guru make the knot. If not, then we are never bind. <laughs> this is Guru Kripa. This is the navigator must. What to do? Like a... Like a... In the Indian culture, father and mother bind to her daughter with other man. So this he is like a guru. He gives his daughter to to one man. Who is giving the female soul? And guru guru bind us as a dasi to Radha. So we cannot go far from Radhika, and Krishna is binded. In the love, they are, they are the naturally bind more than before to us. The soul, so soul can realize, body cannot realize. They are divine, and soul is divine. They can speak it. Right. We cannot. The Maya Bujia means serving according to the hot or cold season. The Maya Bujia would is. Mm. According to the time, Pujya means uh, you have to understand the circumstances and the time, the heat of the sun, with sun, heat of the circumstances, desire of you. You mm -hmm. have very intelligent. Krishna Bhakta Bara, Soe Bara Chatur means you have to understand the circumstances of the time, is day and night, or how much heat and cold is there. What is the, my circumstance? If I am in Germany, you have to balance your circumstances like that. If you are in Vrindavan, different circumstances. You have to wash food to the cold and hot weather and circumstances near to you to, to bind yourself. <laughs>
Yes. Yes, we have to become expert in, in all circumstances. In Abhisar, in love journey or meeting time, in a separation, and in the different branches of service. Like Baba is explaining here, two different branches, Parichaya, practical service, and Prasanga, hearing and chanting. In the special circumstances, you have to balance. <coughs> But keep yourself in the service. If you are out with the service, the Maya will catch you. If you do not want to go as per circumstances, distance from Maya, Maya is very clear. clear. Mayo is also very Chatur Gurudev, very expert. Because created by Chatur. <laughs> <laughs> to help him. Maya is helping to help the creation go on with the in suffering. This is a job of Maya to make happy to Krishna. So, a devotee must become more smart than Maya. Yeah. <laughs> Krishna wants to deviate us from the goal, from the binding of the Buya. <laughs> in, in Hindi, they say Kuta. In the cow, you have to put one putta, one, putta. One, one place to bind it. At that you cannot move it. That is putta in India. And in, in the, in the, I don't know in English what they say, but in Germany they say poya. Huh? Worship, which is in the water, fire, and water, it's on a boya. This is a swimming thing, which is yes. swimming, yeah. Yeah, you can find it. Yeah. What is the name? Boya. And English? I, I can check it if I find it out. That is a type of we <laughs> are minded in the Puya. This is a sign of <laughs> And Sanchari Bhav is not minded. It's loose. <laughs> loose. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, boom, 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 boom. Because they don't want to bind themselves. They want to relations themselves with others, they are free. But who are binded by Buya, they cannot do other things. They are already fixed. Like your Gaura Sundara. You say A or B, he will say C. This is Buya, fixed one place. He cannot move. <laughs> if for German, he cannot move for other subject. He will bring you there because he's already minded there. <laughs> when you want to deviate him in the morning class, he brings the same place. <laughs> yeah. I like that, that good, eh? <laughs> I like to listen to that from him. <laughs> hmm. He is fixed in the morning class, Gurudev. Boy, he is fixed with his ashram, so many dasi. Nobody can change his. He is not 20, 30 years practice, but he is fixed. 
That's the proof. It doesn't take much. It takes only surrender, Gurudev, and the faith. Only, only Ma, um, Narayan Maharaj is telling only if I can, I don't, I'm, it's too high for me, means you have no greed. If you have greed, this is the qualification. If you have no great society, this is too high for me. I cannot do this. Then you have no greed. Yeah, then there's always an excuse. Huh? If there's no greed, there's always an excuse. <laughs> These words are like Amrit Bani. <laughs> Very practical realization. It's a ship boy. boy. It's also similar. In English, boy. English is also German word. So we got the point today. We have to be fixed. We have to be bound by the love of Shimati Radhika, just like she is binding her beloved Mohan to a certain. Krishna also becomes <laughs> Especially in Gora Lila Gurudev, he has to become sky. <laughs> and but I know the Gora, but I still I have a Sanchari vow. I my God, how they doing? I surprise. Eh? They no understand Gora. Only philosophy. They need the mercy, Gurudev. No, they are, they are telling me, uh, Krishna Chandra, uh, this uh, Brajanath come, they say, you have also to give program. I say, my name is in the list of listener, maybe, but I am not talking there. I will listen to the classes of the Mahajans. I was listener, one of the listeners in the Govardhan mm -hmm. uh, meeting. But I will sure go to this. There was Sika Association, I am sure. To listen. Listening is more than talking.